I'm Sarah Cooney, and I'll be presenting Riding the Bus in Los Angeles, Creating Cultural Microexposures via Technology. One of the things that initially drew me to the HCI community is that so much of the work is socially focused. The community cares about social justice, about helping people and the environment, and trying to make the world a better place. I especially appreciate that we reflect critically and work on bold and important topics like feminism, race, heteronormativity, and post-colonialism, to name just a few. But not all places and people are ready for these bold ideas. Recently, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I've returned to my small rural hometown, population 3,500, 97.5% white, predominantly English speaking, and largely Christian for a period of several months. In the midst of a pandemic, a racially charged summer, and a contentious election season, in the middle of a swing state no less, I began to reflect on my experiences, specifically the experiences that had laid the groundwork for my own pluralistic worldview and the experiences that had made it so different from those surrounding me. In this paper, I introduced the term cultural microexposure to refer to small brushes with the everyday realities of a culture or lived experience that is different from one's own. It was these experiences, small, subtle, I realized during my reflection that had shaped my worldview as much, if not more, than any grand moments or adventures. These are the kind of subtle encounters one might have riding the bus through the streets of Los Angeles, walking the streets of New York City, or visiting an international tourist destination with others from all over the world. It is being surrounded by people who don't look like you, don't speak like, speak like you, don't worship like you, etc. The kind of experience largely unavailable in my tiny hometown. The kind of experience that I was privileged to have through my education and travel experiences. This led me to consider how these experiences might be made available to people in places without access to a diversity of people and cultures and without the same privileges that I enjoyed. Being a computer scientist, I asked myself, how can cultural microexposures be created using technology? In the paper, I first review prior work in conveying cultural experiences using technology, noting how prior work is largely insufficient in creating microexposures, mainly because it is very focused on explicit experiences as opposed to the more subtle experiences and it often lacks the sense of humanity necessary for a cultural microexposure. I then share several of my own ideas for creating these experiences. From cross-cultural learning experiences, using video chat to connect people across the world, to uh, augmented reality, to create virtual citizens, to add diversity to places in which it is lacking. I then review some of the ethical considerations, including who gets to, to create this technology and tell the stories, and what it means to project one's pluralistic worldview on people who may not appreciate or want to have that view. However, I largely leave the question open as a point of departure for further discussion on how we might create these kind of subtle experiences, opening up the HCI community to a larger community. Thank you.